Sounds good, doesn't it? Now, if you're wondering, we haven't had a power failure. We're just trying to recreate a natural phenomenon. In fact, it's being described as the world's largest optical illusion. And Nick, we should be able to see it from our back garden tonight, shouldn't we? Yeah, this is really something else, I tell you. At about uh, 10 to 11, the moon will appear larger than ever because of a set of circumstances which come together only well, once in a blue moon. Over now to Andy Newman, who's been finding out more. Yes, well, there's no sign of the moon at the moment, but if you take a look towards the southeastern horizon at about 10 to 11 tonight, you should see the moon as you've never seen it before. Well, I'm in the garden of Rod Salisbury of the Cotswold Astronomical Society here in Cheltenham. Rod, could you just describe what we're going to see tonight? Yes, if you look to the southeast, as you say, any time after 11, up to about 2 or 3 in the morning, you should see a bright full moon hanging low in the sky and looking rather larger than it usually does. So is it really larger or is it just a trick? How's it, what's causing it? Well, this is a combination of things. First of all, the moon near the horizon always does look larger than the moon higher in the sky. But at the moment, the moon is at perigee, which is its closest point to the Earth, and that, of course, already makes it look larger than usual. So how unusual is it? This particular combination is very unusual. Not only have we got the moon at perigee, but we've got the full moon almost at the summer solstice. The full moon is opposite it in the sky from the sun. So with the sun at its highest, the moon is at its lowest. And on top of that, we've got an 18-year cycle, which varies the height of the moon, and the moon is at the lowest point of that cycle as well. So putting those three things together is very unusual indeed. OK, well, thanks for joining us. Don't forget, it's at 10 to 11, southeastern horizon, and if the skies are anything like as clear as they are at the moment, it should be really spectacular. Back to you. Yeah, it sounds absolutely superb, doesn't it? So the crucial question, is it going to be good weather for moon watching tonight? What's the verdict, Shafali? I think it certainly will be, but uh, talking of moons, did you see last night's moon? It was absolutely stunning, the summer solstice, midsummer night's moon, and uh, I'm sure tonight's will be just as good. Thanks very much, Shafali. Can't wait to see that tonight. No, I'm going to be there. Yeah. Now, Shisha cafes have long been a meeting place for people living in the...